Posit has just released a new IDE called Positron, which might even replace our studio in the future. And in this video, we will show you how to install and use Positron in practice. And for the video, I have collaborated with Milos Popovic, who runs a YouTube channel himself, where he tells you how to create maps in our program. And for that reason, Milos will also demonstrate in this video how to create maps using the Positron IDE. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Today we are diving into something super exciting for all of you data analysts and data scientists out there. At the end of June 2024, Posit, the owner of our studio, has released its new and modern beta version of a new generation IDE called Positron. This is a next step in the game for Posit when it comes to language agnostic IDEs. You might remember that our studio renamed itself to Posit in 2022 to move away from a pure R focus. And now with Positron, they're taking it even further. Positron essentially is a specialized version of Microsoft's Visual Studio Code, and it's a fork of the underlying code, OSS, that powers VS Code. I'm super excited about this marriage between VS Code and RStudio that produced Positron because in my daily work, I use a lot of VS Code, which allows for so many extensions, including R, but also seamless integration with other programming languages. However, VS Code extension support for R is not always the best. So RStudio is one of the alternative options because it's so well tailored in terms of package version control as well as plotting and data set overview. So Positron brings all the little R-related things I love from both RStudio and I have missed maybe in VS Code. So the regular collection of VS Code's R extensions and adds on is no longer necessary because Posit now has created a custom R kernel called Arc for any text editor or ID with even Jupyter support. Before we dive deeper into Positron's features, Let's get started with the installation of R, R tools, and Positron. First, you will need to download and install R. So head over to your browser, type download R for Windows, and then take the topmost results, which will take you to Cron, where you can download the latest version of R for Windows. Once you downloaded the R version to your local drive, head over to the Downloads folder, right-click on the icon, choose a run as administrator, and then the installation process will start where you can simply follow the instructions by clicking on OK and Next until the installation is completed. You will need to install R tools for building packages and installing others, so head to your browser and search for Download R tools for Windows, then Choose the first option, which is going to take you to Cron, and over there, select the latest version to download. And finally, select the one for Windows, which is the 64-bit version, which is started download. Once you download it, head back to your download folder, right-click on the RTools icon, run as administrator, and then click here, yes to start the installation setup. So over here, what you really want to do is put this into the root directory, which is in my case C, and then click on next. After that, you want both boxes checked, so leave them as they are, and then click again next. And then finally, just click on install, and this is going to start the installation of our tools. Once the installation is complete, simply click on finish button. Finally, we will again for the last time head back to the browser and now search for Positron from Posits, which is going to take us to their GitHub page. And when you click on it, over there you'll find releases. So click on that one and then you need to expand the releases in the assets part. So choose the very first one. This is the latest version. And once you click on this, this is going to start downloading the executable file to your local directory. As soon as the download is complete, head back to the folder where it was downloaded, right-click, run as administrator, and then you can just simply click several times next until you uh, see the install option. Just click on it. This is going to start installing Positron. Once Positron is installed, simply click on launch, and this is going to open Positron 
where we can then dive deeper into this new app. Now that we installed everything and launched Positron, let's highlight some of the things that it brings. VS Code users will notice a familiar surroundings here with the main menu and the sidebar menu coming from the favorite IDE. Now you will also notice here in the lower left corner of the screen also the console together with the terminal and the debugging console. But in the case of VS Code where you had to actually start your R terminal with Positron, when you open the app itself, the console will also open. So this is called the Arc terminal that comes now with Positron. Another thing that is kind of a pretty new is in the right upper right corner of the screen where you can actually switch between the Python and R versions and you can actually be running Python and R simultaneously, which is pretty, pretty cool. Now, R Studio users will notice that the right hand side comes from R Studio where you can actually see your plots and you can also notice your variables. To get started with coding in Positron, you can either click on open here and then open one of your R files if you have them. And if you want to create a new one, you can also create a new and then click on new file. And then over here, you can simply click on R file, which is then going to create a new script for you. So over here, what we can do now is uh, we can also run some of the code so you can see how this works in practice. One cool thing is that uh, what Positron also inherits from our studio, you can run one line of the code at a time, or you can actually select several lines of the code that you want to run. And once you actually start running, you will notice here that there is a process going on, which you can actually stop by clicking on this uh, on this red quadrant here. Of course, there's also the possibility to shut down your console or restart it, uh, as well as other things here. But you will then notice once you run your code and created a plot that the plot will show up here nicely. And then also just below it, you can also inspect the variables that you created in one of your objects. Finally, I would like to show you how you can customize your Positron and change this light background and default font and add some of the new features and how you can change to this dark modern background with the modern Fira code with ligatures for coding, as well as how to enable some of the most important keyboard shortcuts from our studio. To change the settings, head to the file on the main menu, then click on preferences and finally on settings. Within settings, you can also manually change here the font size, family and other things. But a way easier way is to simply here in search settings, type JSON and then head to this JSON schemas part where you can click on this edit in settings JSON. This is the place where you can actually add your settings within the JSON file. And then once you save this, it's going to change to your preferred settings in Positron. One important thing to remember before you change anything is that all the changes take place within this curvy bracket. So you need to keep them whatever changes you make. Within the curvy brackets, you define the variables you want to change within this double quotation marks. And then they are followed by a column where you again use double quotation marks to define the value of your variable. Now, this is not the case if you are using true or false. True or false should never have double quotation marks. After the short crash course, we are ready to dive into the changes here. So what we're going to essentially do is, first of all, delete everything within this one. And then we're going to just type here a comment which is going to say that we are first of all going to change here the Positron settings. The first change we're going to make here is to enable the RStudio shortcuts. And you can do this by typing rstudio.keymapenable. It already offers you here. And then what you can do here instead of false, you can just simply put true. And after that, you can just put here a comment that this change will enable RStudio's keyboard shortcuts in Positron. If you're coming to Positron from RStudio, this is going to be very useful for you. All right, the second thing I want to show you is how to customize your editor settings. And one of them is the font. By default in Positron, you will be using the courier font and monospace, but I like to use fire code and I like to enable ligatures. So I'm going to show you three things how to do here. So first of all, how do you change your editor family, font family? The second thing is how do you change your font size? And the third to enable ligature, which is making 
a single symbol out of two. So if you start writing here editor and then dot font, you will soon get the options. And a nice thing, if you click then enter, it will give you the default ones which are currently here. So we have enable consoles, courier new and monospace. I'm just gonna uh, actually change here the, cons um, the courier one and I'm gonna go for Fara code. Now, if you wanna search and see what are the other codes available, you can go to programmingfonts.org and over here you can find 145 different coding fonts and see what actually works for you. And once you know what you need, you can just simply go back here and edit this one. All right, the second thing we want to add, as we said, is the font size. So my default font size here is 14. I'm going to keep it as such, but you can go uh, create it and then increase or decrease this one. And the final one is about font ligatures. So font ligatures allow you to create a single symbol out of two symbols. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on put it through here. And then finally, I want to show you how you can change your theme from the light to the dark. So over here, we need to write workbench dot color theme. And once you can, once you do that, you can then choose. So as you can see, the default one is default light modern. You can also choose uh, two uh, dark ones. So default dark modern and tomorrow night blue or some other contrasting a light one. So I'm just going to go for the default dark modern, which I chose before. And then once you put actually this comma, you can uh, save it. And once you uh, put control S, uh, this will immediately change then to the new environment. And you can play with this one even further, add some other things. But for now, this is, these are the basic settings that I also use in my own work. And that's all for today, folks. Let me know in the comments below how the setup and the customization went for you. And also do let me know what you think of Positron and how it works for you. If you're interested in setting up R in VS Code alone and installing all the packages you need, you can check out one of my previous tutorials. And also, if you're interested in working in R Studio and installing all the necessary packages, you can also check out my other tutorial. See you next time.